Don't worry, Mr. Crane. There's no way I'll let Aunt Esme turn to Ethan now that Teresa's gone. He won't be around for her to. I'll kill Ethan before Aunt Esme ever has a chance to snag him. I just keep hoping whoever's been killing Esme's boyfriends have decided to stop while they were ahead. Do killers ever do that? Sometimes. I'd rather not see more victims until I catch the killer. I still have one more victim, Chief Bennett. Your son, Ethan. It's time for you to die, Ethan. It's nothing personal. I just don't want Aunt Esme near you. Ah, Ethan. Sam, I hope we didn't keep you waiting too long. Well, we tried not. Count the minutes. Oh, it was six minutes and 33 seconds. Julian's stamina's improving. <laughs> Look what Julian gave me. Well, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah. yeah, and you'll never guess where he had it hidden on him. You know, you guys should have stayed around. 4Gs are fun. No, I'm on duty, remember? Oh, yeah, well, even better. You would have given the new meaning to pack and heat. <laughs> and, Ethan, I could have helped you get over poor dead Teresa. That won't do, Aunt Esme. Thanks, Esme, but, you know, I'm representing you in Vicky's adoption. It wouldn't be ethical oh, really for us to do. mythical, you're hot. <laughs> <clears throat> I was just curious to see if anything else has happened since the night we planned our sting operation to catch the killer. No, was, uh, killers had chances to attack again, but hers... Okay, I think it's over. Well, let's hope so. I mean, I still need to catch the perp. Even if he stopped killing, he's committed multiple murders. Well, I am sure that a big, strong man of a chief like you will catch that killer. Yeah, I mean, your luck's got to improve sometime, right? So. Well, uh, Sam, if that's... All for the moment, would you allow Esme and myself to resume our evening of ecstasy? Actually, um, I wanted to talk to you about something first, remember? Oh, that's right, yes, what was it? Well, Joey, now that Teresa is gone, and I've discussed it with Gwen, um, I want to adopt little Ethan. I want to officially make him my son. Your detective work paid off. Ethan is little Ethan's father, and he doesn't know it. Well, you need to tell him he deserves to know the truth, that he is little Ethan's father. Julian, how, how do you feel about that, me, me adopting little Ethan? Well, actually, I think he's long overdue, because after all, you are, are the boy's father. What? Well, I... it's rather obvious, isn't it? I mean, for a very long time now, in all ways that matter, you have for all intents and purposes, acted like little Ethan's father. And I, sadly, once again, have abrogated my parental responsibilities and never mm. spending any time around the young lad. But uh, you are the only father that the boys ever really know. That's why I think it's important that he's with someone that he's already bonded with, Julian. And losing his mother has been hard enough on him. And I, I love that little kid. You know I love him like he was my own. Oh, yes, I'm very well aware of that. Then what do you say? Well, I not only give you my permission to adopt little Ethan, I give you my blessing as well. Julian, you've no idea how much that means to me. Thank you. You will make a, a wonderful father, and I'm... I'm sure this is what Teresa would have wanted. I wish everyone would leave so I could kill Ethan before I have to share Aunt Esme with him. I'm, I'm glad Julian was so gracious about letting me adopt the little Ethan. You know, I had a feeling that he'd do the right thing. You know, he seems to have mellowed over the years. Yeah. Started when he befriended Timmy and then he reconnected with Eve. Do you still think that there's a possibility that Julian and Eve can get back together? <laughs> it's harmony. Anything's possible. I don't know. But I think in the meantime, Esme's going to keep him busy. Is she wild or what? She 
She is absolutely crazy, yeah. But she, you know what? She has a serious side to her, too. She is completely devoted to Vicky. She loves her. I really admire her for that. As my, she's actually a fantastic girl. Whoever ends up with her is going to have their hands full, but they'll be one happy guy, I think. It won't be you, Ethan. You'll be dead. I'll catch you later. I'm just glad whoever was killing Esme's boyfriend has stopped. I see you. Yep. Ethan. Hello. I'll get you next time, Ethan. And trust me, there will be a next time.